Hey y'all, what's up? It's Jessica and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I'm probably the last person on planet Earth reviewing the Fenty Beauty, but it's all good because I'm here now better late than never. So instead of doing what normal people do, you know, like going to the store and buy the products, I decided to stay up until 12 a.m. and buy the products during the launch. Big mistake, only to find out that the next day Sephora still had everything available. So I was a little bummed because I could have just woke my butt up and went to Sephora and got my life there, but no, I just had to just stay up for the launch. I'm super excited to try this product. I've been waiting to try this. I actually went back into Sephora and bought a couple more items since they were available. This is probably one of the most exciting makeup launches this year, like a whole collection this year that I personally was excited for. I think Rihanna did really good at launching the product, like getting the consumer excited about it. Obviously we're here for the diversity in the shade range. And I think if you're ever going to start a makeup collection for women, it should include at the minimum 40 shades, at the minimum. And I'm glad this is just her start and she plans on expanding. That means she's keeping us in mind and I and I personally appreciate that. All right, so if you'd like to see what Fenty Beauty is gonna do for this face, let's dive into the video. Okay, so my face is already moisturized. It's ready to receive the primer. First things first, I'm gonna start with the Pro Filter Primer. Okay, so it claims to smooth and like diffuse your pores. It also says that it prolongs your makeup wear, which y'all know I'm here for that. So I'm going to use, wait. So apparently I bought two of these and, and, I, and I don't know why. This is why you don't stay up to 12 a.m. buying makeup because you lose your mind and I probably thought I was buying a foundation and I was just buying another primer. So if I love it, I'm happy about it. If I don't love it, I'm gonna be pretty sad. I do love that it has a pump. Oh, it's super smooth when you put it on. Oh, I like this. It does not have like that silicone feeling, which I stay far away from those. I cannot stand those. So literally it just blends into your skin. It doesn't have that frosty film over it where it looks like you have on sunscreen it just looks like I put on lotion skin is already glowing <laughs> so far I am really enjoying that primer I really like what it did for my skin my skin feels soft it doesn't feel sticky or tacky it just it just feels it just feels good okay so next is foundation and I'm so excited to try the foundation so excited that I bought four foundations so I wasn't sure which one was my shade so I bought four, I bought 410, 420, 440, and 450. So we shall see which one shall work. Um, off back, I can already tell 450 is way too dark. 440 is too red and too dark. Um, Jessica, why did you buy all these foundations? Uh, 420 looks like in it's either between 420 and 410, but I'm gonna lean towards 410 because it has more yellow in it and yellow, and I have yellow undertones, so I feel like this one might work. I don't, what is wrong with me, you guys? I bought four foundations, why? Why? This is why it's good to go into the store. I do suggest if you haven't bought it yet, you were thinking about it, girl, go into Sephora, get yourself matched, and don't don't waste money like I just did. I'm Obviously, I'm gonna have to take some of those back, and I'm just gonna dab that on yeah this one might be my shade has more yellow in it now Fenty Beauty came out with a sponge and also a foundation brush which I did not purchase because the sponge I was like mm, I don't think I need that so I'm just gonna use a foundation brush that I already have on hand to blend and smooth this out it looks like really nice skin. That's what it's giving me. It's giving me really nice, even toned skin, but just not the coverage that I am looking for. I can still see my blemishes. So I'm gonna have to put some more on. Yeah, I love the way that blends out. Like for every day, just throw on foundation with a little brush and go. I totally could just go I could go with this. So as you can see, like I'm still a little bit shiny because I use a really good moisturizer. I don't mind that shine because it's allowing my natural radiance to shine through, but it is drying down to a to a matte satin finish. So it's not like drying matte, it's more of a satin matte. 
but I do love the texture and the finish of this foundation. It looks so nice. You can get a light finish from this. You can also get medium and build it up to full. That's what I'm getting from this. You guys see how smooth my skin is? Perfect match. 410 is definitely my shade. It matches with my neck and my chest area, which you can see it's yellow undertone. So this one is perfect. That is a perfect match, perfect blend. And it's the type of foundation where you feel like you don't even need to set it with a powder. That's how satin and matte it is, where you don't necessarily, I personally don't feel like you need to set it down with a powder. I feel like the powder may kind of take away from this, your skin, but better look. It, it may make it look a little bit more makeup-y. And I think the whole thought process behind Fenty Beauty was like the everyday makeup look with a little hint of fashion. That's what I'm getting from it, from the colors of like the highlighters and stuff like that. But she wanted to focus on um, skin. I'm really getting that. They put a lot of thought process in the technology to get it to mimic your skin. Literally, I will walk out the house just like this. I'm, I'm like here, totally here for this foundation. Okay, so I went ahead and filled my brows off camera and now we are going to try So clearly I want a little ham. I did not buy any of the match trails. I bought them individually. I'm going to conceal under my eyes and I'm going to use the shade that I bought to conceal. I just love the fact that like I just put them down and they just like, I love that. The shade I'm going to use to conceal is caramel and I'm going to apply this in the areas where I would normally put my concealer highlight shade. I'm a little scared because I typically do not go for uh, stick concealers because I do have like fine lines under my eyes and they just tend to just want to settle in there. I low key feel like it's tugging, maybe it has to warm up a bit. Let me, I'm gonna rub my finger on it like this just to get the first layer to warm up. Yeah, that's a little better because I felt like it was tugging on my eye. So now I feel like it's going on extremely smooth. So just when you when you first start, if it feels like it's tugging, warm up the first layer. Put it on my chin. All right, so I'm gonna take my beauty blender to blend this out. So it's definitely blending out. It's, I thought it would be kind of like, not to compare it, but to compare it to the KKW contours, the highlight stick. I, did, I hated that thing with a passion. Um, but this literally blends out really smooth. So this is a whole lot better than that. So what I'm saying is it's brightening up my face, but it's not giving me like that dramatic highlight that I'm kind of used to. But I'm not mad at this because again, I feel like the approach to this line is to make your skin look better. So I love the way it looks. Honestly, I'm not mad at this. I love the way it dried down. It's giving me that same finish, that satin finish, almost powder-like to where you feel like you don't need to set it with a setting powder. Normally you will get that creamy look, but this is not giving me that creamy look. It's giving me just, it's, it's giving me satin, I woke up like this vibes. I'm not seeing it settle under my eyes either. Usually I can see it settle under there, but so far, I don't, I'm not seeing it. Now let's, let's contour. So the shade that I got to contour was Espresso. I just like for my, I just like to look a little bit more warm around the perimeter. All right, so now I'm gonna blend this out. I'll take my beauty blender. Usually I like to go in with a buffing brush. I might just do that if I add another layer. Definitely like the shade. I, I, like, I like this. It blends out really, really nicely and seamlessly so far. Let me not speak too soon. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more on my forehead. And I'm gonna go in with a buffing brush because I find that I like the finish of that better and it gives like an airbrush effect to your makeup. Espresso is giving me, it's giving me life. 
I don't know y'all, Fenty Beauty got my face looking real right. It's looking real nice. Do you guys see how smooth and seamless it looks? I honestly didn't think I would like the matte sticks as much as I did because I felt like it would settle into my lines. I'm not getting crazy settling. I, I mean, it's like normal, it looks like skin, but it doesn't look like, you know, doesn't look crazy, which I am not mad at. But I did buy the Fenty Beauty, um, what is this, the blotting powder? I did buy this. Maybe we could try it to see what it would do for the like the shine and stuff. I'm not gonna use the sponge that comes with it. I'm just gonna take one of my brushes and just tap it into here. And you can see the product coming up. It's white. Let's hope it doesn't show up on my skin like that. And I'm just gonna tap it. Oh yeah, it instantly reduces the shine. Okay. Okay, so this is my skin after applying the blotting powder and I feel like it reduced, it obviously reduced the shine. I'm looking real matte. I don't feel like it left a cast over my face, like a white cast. Okay, so next we are going to blush our skin. I have got two matchsticks that I think would be perfect as blushes. Um, one is Riddick and the other is Chili Mango. This is Riddick. It's a gorgeous like papaya color and chili mango, which happens to be my favorite snack, by the way. This one's a gorgeous orange. So they're, they're both super uber duper pretty. This one right here is Riddick and then that one is chili mango. I'm gonna take chili mango and I'm just going to dab, dab, dab. Maybe Riddick. I'm not liking the way that's applying. So maybe I'll just tap, put some on my finger like this and then tap it. This is actually really subtle, but I feel like you can still see it. It looks like it's actually me blushing and I am not mad at that. Super natural blush. Definitely like it when you apply it with your fingers as opposed to just putting the stick directly onto your skin. Cause I kind of feel like it may, it may streak your makeup or cause it to move around. So just by simply tapping it, I think that works. And I do like that it has a little bit of sheen in it because I love for my cheeks to glow. I just, I just, I, I'm just obsessed. Look how naturally pretty that is. It's just natural, it's naturally gorgeous. Okay, so I have three more matchsticks and these are my highlighter shades that I have. I have confetti, rum, and blonde. I'm gonna swatch them on my hand so you guys can see how they look on my skin tone. Blonde is this gorgeous yellow gold. Rum is definitely a bronzy highlighter. Okay, confetti, gorgeous. I'm low key mad I didn't use this color. I can't even talk. Confetti is giving me <sighs> Galaxy Princess vibes. That's what she's doing for me. I kind of want to go for a more yellow highlight today. So I think I'm gonna lean towards blonde. So I'm going to put it on my fingers and just tap her. Oh, that is so, that is so gorgeous, you guys. Oh, that is, oh. Ooh, she is a highlight for real. I find when I use like highlighters with like cream highlighters, my beauty blender always tends to save the day because it, it just makes it, it diffuses it, but it, it just kind of sets it into my skin. That highlight, you guys, I mean, what, what else do we need? Are we done? Blonde is a winner. I love her. She's she's gorgeous. She's a yellow gold highlight. But I just feel like it just it's just so pretty. I actually feel like I could probably get away with putting this on my skin as well. Like if I wanted to put a little bit of her on my collarbone and just blend her out. You see how you see? instantly just gives you a glow, like a summer glow. I just left Barbados with Rihanna. 
Okay, so the star of the show, you guys already know what I'm about to say. She's been on everyone's tongue, is the Kilowatt Highlighter in Trophy Wife. Get a whiff, you guys. She is, the, the camera's making her look super bright. Calm down. She is so gorgeous. So she's definitely a super yellow gold highlight. I kind of feel like she's like the sister. She's like the older, more, more standout sister of blonde so this is trophy wife and she's so pretty and i do want to put her on my face i don't want to go too cray cray but i do want to put her on my face just to see just to test the waters so i did purchase the highlighter brush this is their uh 120 highlight brush and i'm going to use her i don't know why i purchased this instead of the foundation brush okay so i'm going to take the highlighting brush and I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't want. I don't want it to. I just don't want to look crazy. I'm gonna take the highlighting brush and I'm gonna just tap and tap because I don't want a lot of this. So let's see what this does. Oh, she. She is gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Whoa, she's bright. Rihanna took shine bright like a diamond, literally. The brush is a little weird. I'm not used to this shape, um, this style or shape of a brush, but I feel like it does give you great placement. You just have to, because it's so dense, you have to be careful not to pick up too much of that of trophy wipe. You gotta like, girl, tap and then run away. Just, just run away. Like, from afar like I'm you would never lose me okay my highlight is like my GPS the yellow go with the green reflex in it is not bothering me whatsoever I think it's so pretty it's almost giving me like that editorial runway high-end fashion show look and I'm all here for that look I love ma runway makeup I just literally do but I will say this brush allows you to control the placement better as opposed to my normal highlighting brush do I have it over here no I don't have it over here which would have had trophy wife all over my dang face so I do see why it's shaped like this kind of has like that contoured angled shape so you're not placing it all over oh my gosh she's so pretty I personally wouldn't say this is like an everyday thing I think people might get a little bit intimidated by this because of the glitter in it but it's it's just fun makeup it's meant to be fun I don't think it should be taken too literal like oh my god i have to wear this every day you don't okay so this is trophy wife on my face so i'm gonna go in with that blonde matchstick and put that on my eyes that's actually not bad at all that's really pretty actually So as you can see, you can definitely use the matchsticks as an eyeshadow, maybe like an eyeshadow base before you go in with another color. And I think I'm going to go back into Trophy Wipe. I'm gonna take my finger. Look how pigmented that is. That's just a swatch off of my finger. One swatch and you get that much. I'm just gonna pat it into my eye. That is so pretty. A lot of times makeup especially in today's world is I feel super kind of complicated because it's just too many steps it's just too much girl but I love the fact that her makeup is a simpler approach to makeup okay so lastly are the lips and I did purchase the lip gloss I believe they said that this is a universal lip gloss meaning that it'll look good on every skin tone I haven't just worn lip gloss by itself in a while. It's, it's super glossy, I love that. So yeah, it's a cute everyday gloss if you just wanna get up and go. Um, but it's not like something that you need to go out of your way to like purchase. If you love glosses, then it, it's a nice gloss, but I'm not like overwhelmed by it. Okay, so I'm gonna try out Espresso. Let's see how Espresso looks on my lips as a lipstick. You 
guys, I actually really like this. It's a chocolate brown. Rihanna, I see what you're doing. You guys, this literally could work as a lipstick. Okay, I'm definitely here for this chocolate lip. It goes on the lips super creamy, like you wouldn't think you're putting a concealer on your lips. Okay, let's see what happens if I were to put the gloss on top. How would that look? Okay, I'm through. All right, y'all, so this is the completed look using Fenty Beauty, and I have to say I am absolutely in love with all of the products that I use today. All right, so let's start off with the primer. I definitely feel like the primer is a must have. I love how luxurious it was. It wasn't like putting on a traditional primer. It was more like putting on a very well moisturized uh, cream moisturizer, which I absolutely love. I love the fact that it didn't leave me like a white cast over my face. It didn't feel extremely like tacky or sticky. So out of a zero to 10, this is definitely a 10. I love it. I'm not too mad that I bought two. Because at first I was like, girl, but I definitely will be keeping this. I love this primer. Okay, so the foundation, again, another favorite. I love this foundation. If you're looking for something matte, but not too drying, something that gives you skin-like finish, this is definitely gonna be your jam. I got mine in the shade 410, and that matches perfectly uh, with my skin tone and my undertones, which are gold and yellow. I absolutely love just the way my skin looks. It literally looks like I have really good skin and I don't have perfect skin, but this just makes my skin look perfect. I did not have to set this bad boy. Okay, she came already prepared. She came already set. Super lightweight. The formula is amazing. And let's not forget the diversity in shades, which I, kudos to you, Riri, for doing that. And I love the fact that the focus wasn't solely on skin tone, but also undertone. Because a lot of times when companies are making darker uh, foundations, we tend to get the general um, red undertone and some of us aren't red undertone. Some of us are gold and olive and neutral or whatever have you, but I love the fact that they focus on skin tone as well as undertone, which is super important. So definitely, if you have not gotten your hands on this girl, don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. You need this. This is, this is, this is the plug. This is the 2017 plug right here. The matchsticks. These are freaking amazing. It just literally glide on so smooth. It was easy to blend out. It wasn't that chalky crap that some products I've tried are. No shade, but shade. This trophy wipe is definitely a winner for me. I do feel like she is an acquired taste. Like some people aren't into the whole glitter highlight. Some people like that more smooth shimmer highlight. While others like myself, we don't mind a little glitter girl. We don't mind a little diamond sparkle. And I love this one. This is not like your everyday highlighter. This is not something that, you know, if you're just running errands, unless you want to. By all means, it's a personal choice. But um, realistically speaking, this is probably not your everyday highlighter, but she is definitely something that you could wear every day. Moving on to the blotting powder. This right here is a life saver. This right here comes in a compact and I feel like all I need is like a little sponge, even the sponge that it comes with because it comes with a sponge and touch up my makeup and I'm good. It doesn't give you a white cast on your face. It literally just takes the shine down. I absolutely love this to touch up my makeup and it's so compact that I can just throw it in my purse and blot and go girl, blot and go. And lastly, the Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. Now it's, it's definitely a pretty lip gloss was it something that I was just like, oh my God. No, I didn't have a oh my God moment with this one, but I do love lip glosses. Like I'm always looking for a lip gloss that I can just throw on and go so my lips aren't crusty and ashy. And this definitely will do the trick. Um, but if you have a favorite lip gloss, I don't, I don't see this doing anything different than anything else. I do love the applicator. Um, let me add a little right here. It is definitely a pretty lip gloss. I just feel like she nailed it when it when it came to focusing on a specific thing and, and mastering it. She focused on complexion, she killed it. I'm glad that the focus of Fenty Beauty is more on the more natural, realistic type of approach to makeup as opposed to the 
the Instagram um, makeup that we've kind of gotten ourselves into. There's nothing wrong with a super beat Instagram baddie makeup look. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I think everything has its time and place, but I think the simplistic makeup should definitely make its way back. Like the whole 90s makeup where women didn't wear you know, a ton of makeup to look beautiful. They just basically wore makeup to enhance what was already there. And that's the kind of approach that I'm getting from Fenty Beauty. Like it's all about your skin, but better, your beauty just enhanced. So Fenty Beauty gets a 10 out of 10 from your girl. There aren't any products that I currently have in front of me that I was just like, mm, I don't like this. None of the products, all of the products are just amazing. Literally serving you 90s total SWV this is how you launch a makeup line for anyone else who's coming out or thinking about coming out with a makeup line this is how you do it you don't shortchange a specific group of women and not create shades for them like you have to have everybody in mind and she had everyone in mind if you guys enjoy these first impressions slash review videos then let me know in the comment section and i will definitely do more please give this video a thumbs up and share it with a fellow friend and if you haven't already subscribed i'm gonna just give you a little second to go do that right there you see that red button just hit that red button girl and you can also check out some more of my content right here you see all these videos right there catch up and you know get your life all right y'all that is all and i'll see you guys in my next video bye